Hi everybody, Jeremy Solt here with an instructional video to give you just a little bit of guidance to some things that we've seen on the first edition of these airplanes and to uh, inform you guys all of some of the changes and updates that this airplane has uh, currently from our testing version. Um, the first of these things is, is that the airplane comes with a pilot inside the airplane. The pilot is not really centered on the seat or whatnot. Um, he's got a red helmet and a blue jumpsuit, so if I were you, I would just take him out of there. Um, our test version did not have an air uh, pilot in there, so just so you know, it comes with a pilot now. Uh, the second thing is that the wings themselves actually now have uh, pylon stations that have anchor points on there. So the wing tanks used to have magnets, which you'll see right here. Uh, they were okay for what they did. We never had them come off, but they just were not that great for on the ground. You'd barely touch them and they would come off. And so they updated it again with a hard point set up inside there. These actually slide onto the hard points. And then you've got two screws that'll go in to anchor this down so that they don't ever come off or they don't partially come off and create any kind of issues with flight. Um, that's the first couple of things on there. The other thing is that uh, we've been finding that they provided two different size screws for the uh, verticals on there. And so the verticals, they come with a 20 millimeter and a 15 millimeter uh, hex screw. Now, in the book, it talks about the front ones being the 20 millimeter and the back ones being 15 millimeter. Now, with every single kit, you get a spare set of screws. This is every single screw within the airplane. Now, what we want you to do is we want you to use the 20 millimeter screws that are within this spare set and replace them with the 15 millimeter screws that you would be putting in the aft section of these verticals. So please take those out, utilize those because the manual says a 15 millimeter and it does not give enough threads on there. So we are gonna ask for the next version or next uh, amount of these airplanes to have actually a little bit longer screws in there. But the 20 millimeters, they work fantastic. So make sure you have all four 20 millimeters installed in the verts. Lastly, is an oversight with the manufacturer. When we actually had the airplane being built, we instructed them that what we wanted was longer uh, wiring harness uh, wires from all your servos to be a lot longer. Uh, the reason why we did that is because the original wires only went to about this point on the fuselage. What that did is that made it to where those people that chose to not want to use a white distribution box, they would have to put their receivers or anything in the very, very back of this airplane, and that wasn't adequate for what we wanted. Now, we asked them to extend the wires all the way long enough so that you could actually put a receiver in the front of this airplane. When we did that, they somehow misunderstood, and a little bit of oversight in there is that they ended up not providing the white distribution box in all of this first release airplane. What does that mean? That means that this airplane cannot be an eight channel airplane unless you, you uh, get one of these boxes, um, but it still can be, and it will be, and, and it is awesome, but you can still independently uh, isolate all of your wires here because they are isolated. So aileron, aileron, left aileron, aileron, left flap, left flap, right flap, right flap, elevator, elevator, so on and so forth. So essentially everything is an independent servo and an independent channel that it requires um, on your receiver. And so what does that mean? That means you have to have an 11, 12 channel receiver to be able to run this airplane currently. Now we apologize for this happening. But we want to make sure that it's done right for you guys because we did promise that the airplane was an 8-channel to a 12-channel airplane. Now, what do you have to do? If you were to uh, planning on utilizing the, the distribution box, which works fantastic, and you did not get one, please contact us at sales at bananahobby.com or support at bananahobby.com and through email. And what that'll do is just let us know that you want this distribution box and we will send it to you free of charge. Um, with that oversight that happened, we just want to make sure it's right and so you guys get what you need to be able to do this airplane uh, to your liking. 
Um, that being said, um, again, like I said, you don't actually need this distribution box if you plan on being independent on all your setup. Um, but again, if you want this, please just contact us on there. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or comments about uh, this, please hit us up. We'll do what we can to make this right. Again, this is something that we did not expect, but this will be correct within the second batch of the airplane. And uh, that being said, again, hit us up. Again, I'm Jeremy Solt, Banana Hobby, and thank you guys for uh, taking the time to listen to us, and we'll catch you all later. Thanks again.